Chekhov 27, and welcome to my piano recital! I shall begin by playing the most beautiful rendition of Pachelbel's Canon in D major, and if anyone so much as sneezes during my time up here, I will come down there and stick this entire grand piano up Leroy's ass! And I will not be using lube this time! But before that, let's watch a video. This video was suggested by CTS. Thank you for the immense amount of trauma you've put me through. I will never forgive you. Family Guy is an animated TV show about a family of incestuous beavers created by Seth MacFarlane, a living Viagra commercial. Personally, I find the show to be aggressively hit or miss, but I can say with 100% confidence that the video game adaptation on the PS2 is a complete fucking miss. It's as if when the ball came, it ripped through the bat, then proceeded to make a full U-turn and fly straight up the batter's asshole. Now, depending on the sexuality of the batter, this is either a grand slam or a reached-in error. Either way, touchdown. You play as Stewie, Brian, and Peter in their own respective sections with different gameplay and stories. Let's start with Stewie. Playing as Stewie puts you in a third-person shooter with light platforming. The first thing you'll notice here is that the controls are stiffer than a priest at a baptism, and the depth perception as a whole is completely off. You have a fixed camera here, and it's difficult to tell where you are in relation to platforms, leading to a lot of depth. When it comes to shooting, it's really difficult to aim. You do have a lock-on button, which helps you when you fight enemies, but there are a lot of sections where you have to bounce lasers off of walls to hit certain boxes, and trying to get Stewie in the right position is like trying to get Elmo to stop masturbating into every bottle of Dasani. It's not something anyone wanted, but it is something we all have to live with. There are also parts where it feels like the game is actively trying to fuck you in the ass. God damn it! what the fuck is happening?! I hate this, I fucking hate this, I fucking hate this. Oh, I guess there is no god. Bottom line, playing as Stewie fucking sucks, and if I ever see another baby again, I will be turning it in to my local priest. Alright, let's talk about Brian. What you have here are stealth sections that are pretty simple in concept. Sneak around the map, grab the shit you need, then get the fuck out. But here's the catch. It fucking sucks. Most of the maps are filled to the brim with people, and it's difficult to tell when they can see you. And if you are seen, it's back to the beginning of the stage for you. Because this game wants nothing more than for you to suffer. Thank God they put the suicide hotline number on the front of the box. How considerate. The thing about these sections is they're either insanely easy or frustratingly difficult, but there is no in-between. There also isn't anything really interesting about these sections. The only thing I can think of is how there's sometimes a meter that if it fills up makes Brian go pick piss on something for a minute, leaving him exposed. But other than that, this is basically a stupid version of Metal Gear Solid that was designed by people with vaginas where their brains should be. And lastly, Peter. Easily the worst one. These sections take the form of the worst beat-em-up I have ever played. It's sad, because it actually started out strong, with Peter leaving a hospital and immediately just wailing on children and the elderly. It was the only time in the game where I thought, oh, this is actually kind of funny, but of course, when the game heard that, it promptly leapt out of my PS2 and fucked my dog. Because if we've learned anything from my videos, it's that I am not allowed to have any fun. Ever. As the section goes on, you realize that it's just horrifically monotonous. Yeah, it's got a few combos, but there isn't any weight to anything, so it's not satisfying in any way. The controls are sluggish, and there are a massive amount of issues involving hit detection. You sometimes knock characters to the ground and either have to hit them or pick them up and throw them to finish them off. Sounds simple enough, but look at this. This is me trying my best to kick them. The game only registers a hit when it fucking feels like it. There's also an issue of getting absolutely destroyed by a massive crowd or one big attack really fast, and it kills you almost instantly. You have no way to defend yourself. Sure, the enemies can block, but there isn't any way for you to block. Obviously, the game designers spend more time butt-chugging paint than actually making a functional fucking game. The worst parts, though, are the last two boss fights. These culminate everything that sucks about playing as Peter while also tacking on the worst quick time events I have ever seen. Just look at how long this is. I jerked off twice in the amount of time it took for that to happen. <laughs> no! I will not put 
shove my dick away. Mind your own fucking business. On top of that QTE being longer than my dick, it's also slightly out of time, which led to me having to do it over and over again for 15 minutes, which I did for all of you, my sexy little sausages. So you better fucking appreciate it. Also, remember when I said enemies can block? Well, the chicken boss can block infinitely, meaning you can't do any damage to him because this game was forged in the fires of a gay gorilla's asshole. My God, man, what did you eat? At one point, I saw some sea lions and thought that this might be the saving grace of the game. But sadly, even animal abuse can't save this game. This most lovable animal. What kind of monster greenlit this? But horrible gameplay aside, what's the writing like? Ideally, you would want it to feel like you're playing an episode of the show, right? Well, it's basically a bunch of jokes from the show converted into a video game. Meaning, a lot of jokes in this game are ripped directly from the show. Now, that can be a good or a bad thing. TV shows have running jokes that most would like to see in a video game adaptation, and sometimes the game does these all right. But a majority of the jokes in this game are stripped directly from the show. For example, they have these cutaway minigames, which I didn't mention earlier because the less I talk about them, the less my balls hurt. None of them are any good, and most of them are just direct rips from the show. Up, oh, and that's my left testicle receding back into my body. Fuck! It would have been much more interesting to see unique cutaways for the game, especially since they're going for this self-aware vibe. But I guess the developers were more interested in what flavor of crayon they were gonna stick into their dick holes that day. I've honestly never been happier to beat a game, because that's when I knew I would never have to play it again. You see these names up here? Each one of them is going on my personal fuck list, right next to Ronald McDonald with that big juicy Big Mac ass of his. Yeah, I'd suck his McNuggets any day of the week. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, right, the game. Look, you want my advice? Don't ever touch this game. I'm pretty sure it gave me gonorrhea. If you want to play a good game based on a show that really makes you feel like you're playing an original episode of that show, play South Park The Stick of Truth. It's an actually good fucking game. Gonna give it the Chekhov seal of approval. Damn, look at that game. As for Family Guy on the PS2, I'm giving it a- Let's a 1 out of 5. Now somebody get me another piano before I lose my fucking shit!